Welcome right, back to another video. So as you can tell by the title, today we're going to be looking at OP cheap players under 10k. So some of the players I'll be showcasing will be uh, a lot under 10k and some will be right up to 10k. So um, at, the pr at the time of this vid making this video, uh, some of the players are dead on 10k. They could obviously go over and obviously could go down. Uh, by the end of the year, they'll be nowhere near 10k, most of them. So uh, yeah, if you're watching this late, then uh, you should be all right. But if uh, Watching this right now, the market is like fluctuating a lot. So we've got a blank squad here. Um, for the starting eleven, I'm just going to choose a player from each position, and uh, I'm going to stick to the top five leagues. I think that that's what everyone goes into. Really, nobody really uses like the Super League, Eredivisie, and all that. So for the bench, I've chose a few players. I think I chose five, and they they um, uh, can be from other leagues. So we'll start off in goal. We've got a player who I haven't haven't used a lot of the players I haven't used, but some of them I have. And then uh, he is very good though, uh, as I've, I can't even spell his name, there he is, Gil I can't even say it either. Um, we've got Gul Gulitsky, I don't know, that guy, six foot four from the Bundesliga. Obviously RB Leipzig have uh, three French centre-backs that you can link him to. Obviously if you're playing three at the back, that's perfect. Two, you choose two of the three. And uh, his stats there don't, uh, don't tell you that he's a bad player. And um, yeah, six foot four, you really can't go wrong. Into right back then. Uh, I've chosen this player because he's got really, really all-rounded stats. You've probably seen him there, Fl Florenzi. He's got uh, four-style skill moves, which is actually uh, quite nice for a right-back. He can do the Lacroqueta uh, to get some past the attackers that are obviously um, trying to break you down. And then five for eight is quite tall for a, for a wing-back. It's not too bad. And then hi high-medium is what you're going to find with lots of full-backs. Can't really do much about that. Three-style weak foot is, is neither here nor there. But then acceleration 85 is key. Sprint speed 79 isn't bad as well. Then 89 salmon. And then if you look at the greens, they're all over the place. He's only got two stats that aren't green, which just shows he's an all round player. You could literally sub him on into like centre mid or even uh, just start him at right back where he is. Agility 87 and 82 balance really makes him such a great player. So yeah, he's in the squad. Right then, the first centre back is going to be Jerome Boateng. Really, really good player. Have used him, but um, I, uh, I've sold him now. He's not on my team anymore. But um, six foot four really really tall weak foot four star which is amazing because he can use either his left or the right obviously right is his main the pace isn't great but then also with a shadow does go up a lot and then uh really good defending physical stamina is not bad for sent back you don't uh you don't really need it as well so um reactions 82 and 84 composure for any player on the pitch reactions and composure are really like key stats so it's good that he's got them and then his short pass and long pass for a center back are really really good so uh you can play out the back with him and he's going to be great. And then, ooh, that's uh, the keeper. The other centre-back, when I search him in now, I've actually, he's in my team at the moment, and I'm really, really enjoying him. Probably see him next one. Yeah, there he is. Joe Gomez. Got him, uh, as it shows there. Really, really good pace. So if you're playing him with someone like Boateng, he'll make up for the pace that Boateng doesn't have. And then acceleration, 76. Sprint speed, 85. So once he gets going, he's really rapid. Uh, lower reactions and composure due to his 80 rating. But then... Uh, uh, defending physical really well rounded as well and I think he's yeah he's 2.8k so he's down the lower end of the 10k mark and uh, 3 star 3 star isn't bad 6 foot 2 is really nice as well down in at left back then there's not many for 10k that are that good under 10k so I have gone for Luke Shaw I have used him as well he was in my team but I've changed it now 5 foot 11 which really tall wins, wins a lot of headers uh, he is left foot which is nice for the left back obviously playing the balls down the line 2 star uh, weak foot isn't great but I suppose on a on the full backs, as long as you're playing it down the line, it should be all right. But he's got really nice pace, well rounded, 81 and 83. And then obviously you can stick a shadow anchor on him to get it up. And then his passing, dribbling, defending, and physical, all in the dark greens and light greens. So it's just an all round type of card, a, a little bit like Florenzi, but Florenzi has got the shooting stats as well. But um, yeah, Luke Shaw is a very good left back in uh, FIFA 20. Right then, heading over to uh, the right mid position, we've got uh, Jose Calleon. There he is. So he is, I think he's about 5k. Um, really, really, really nice car. I haven't used him, but I've uh, heard a lot of good things about him. High, high, which isn't too bad for a right mid, I guess. Depends. It's up to you, really. But as long as you stay forward on him, I guess, uh, he should be all right. 5 foot 10, which is really tall, actually, for a winger. And then 3 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves. It would be nice with a 4 star, but um, I suppose the weak foot's fine, but then the skill moves would be nice with 4 star. But then look at those stats. The pace is absolutely rapid. Great attack positioning, 
good crossing if you're gonna if you uh, if you like crossing the ball. Nice volleys. I don't know if that's uh, something you do, but then uh, agility, reactions, ball control, dribbling, immaculate, and then 90 stamina to top it off. He's going to be running all games, so really, really quality there. Over in the left back spot, we're going to go with a player who can play left back. Uh, left back. I said left back, didn't I? Um, Perisic. He's going to be playing left mid, not left back. Um, one player who can literally play anywhere in the midfield. He can play right mid, left mid, centre mid, or above. Literally. Probably even striker to be fair. He's got five star weak foot, four star skill moves. Haven't even used him. I need to use him. I definitely do. Six foot one, really, really tall. And uh, obviously the five star weak foot just helps him. He basically means he can pass and shoot on either foot. And then look at those stats. Apart from his defending and his aggression, everything's green. And uh, he just has a super all rounded card and high all rounded as well. Not just like low 70s, like high 70s and good 80s as well, like 84 shot power and uh, good pace as well for. For Perisic, 89 stamina, a bit like Halion, he's going to last like the whole game. So, yeah, he's one of those players who can play literally anywhere in the midfield or even striker. So, really, really good from Perisic. For the centre mids role, I've gone for um, a box to box in Vidal and a CDM, which I'll talk about in a sec. So, for, for Vidal, I'm not sure how much he is. I think he's about 10k. He is up on the, the high uh, price range, but then he's high, high, so box to box. Like I said, four-star weak foot, which is great for any midfielder. Four-star weak foot is, is amazing. Three-star skill moves, you're not really going to be doing skills with your box-to-box -box midfielder, I wouldn't say. Apart from his pace and his free kick accuracy, he's got dark greens and light greens absolutely everywhere. He's so well-rounded. He's defending physical. He can be a CDM as well, obviously, with those uh, 85 defending, 86 physical. Great, great stamina. His shots are going to be good as well with 79 shooting overall. Brought down probably by his finishing, but he's got 82 long shots, 84 shot power, probably banging a long shot here and there. And then uh, really good short and long pass. He's going to be finding those balls from absolutely everywhere. So that's one of the midfielders. And then the other one, I haven't used this uh, this player yet in FIFA, but I, I definitely will get round to it. I've heard great things about him. That's going to be uh, Garner Gay here. Obviously transferred from Everton to um, PSG in the summer. He's got medium high, so definite CDM with three star, three star, which isn't too bad for CDM because you're not really you're not really ball playing with with your CDM. But um, yeah, acceleration, sprint speed for a CDM that's decent, 74 and 72. But then it's those dribbling, defending, and physicals that are so good. Head and accuracy and strength is aren't great, but then it's 90 stamina is going to last the whole game. It's going to win loads of headers with 88 jumping, and uh, yeah, he's he just looks like an absolute tank. So um, stuck him in there, and he's down at the lower. Lower end of the price uh, price uh, range in this 10k team player thing. Up top on the left, we're going to go with, uh, I haven't used him, Ante Rebic. I think that's how you say it. He's got a, a Bundesliga card, but it's actually extinct because he's in uh, AC Milan right now. But he, he looks absolutely insane. I'm surprised no, I've not heard anything about him, but he looks so, so good. Six foot one, really tall. Obviously, high medium, which is perfect for a striker. Right foot with four star weak foot, so can basically use his left as well. And force our skills can do all the uh, pretty much all the good skills, and then rapid pace, 84 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. So once he's got going, he is like brutal. And then good shooting, not not too bad, but not too uh, not too good as well. But then it's all about that uh, 83 strength, 84 aggression. He's gonna be he's gonna be strengthening off people whilst running about 900 mile an hour. So I really like the look of Rebic, and uh, does get a little link to Perisic if that's uh, anyone's uh, little link up there but then for the other one we've got Morales uh, we're gonna get him now um, I haven't got him in the club I have used him though and he's an absolute tank uh, I'm sure you've heard of him or played with him he's got rapid pace bit like Rebic um, I think Rebic had 88 but he has 89 I think um, 88 acceleration night experience speed he's gonna be he's gonna be bombing around the pitch 82 stamina which is good for a striker but it's not too not too important but then that uh, dribbling and shooting um, much better shooting than Rebic finishing wise and uh yeah, decent long shot on him as well, and uh, he did he did really play uh, quite well for me when I had him. So um, yeah, so that's the starting eleven done. Gonna go into the bench. Gonna go through them quickly. We've got um, I re really don't know if, if I'm spelling this right now. So Delafeu on the bench, really rapid, great super sub. I've actually uh, scored five and a six assists in twelve games of mine, and most of them are off the bench. So uh, you already know he's gonna be a good player. We've got Bruno Fernandez. Haven't tried. I haven't tried the rest of the bench, but I thought I'd get some uh, other leagues in just in case you do have a team. Four star, four star as a cam, and then dark greens absolutely everywhere in his shooting, his passing. 92 stamina, he's going to last years, so uh, going to be great, great little player. Left back, so if you're struggling for left backs and a great um, 
great uh, le uh, nation, sorry, Brazil. Alex Telles looks brilliant, under 10k, 91 stamina, all-rounded player. They were like Florenzi, but actually better stats than Florenzi, obviously in the left-back position there. And then another cam from Eredivisie. It's going to be, uh, I don't know his first name, Ziyech, uh, Hakim Ziyech. He looks really, really good. 80 pace, so good for a cam. Great passing, great dribbling, 84 stamina. Decent aggression as well. So um, I think he is... He's five foot eleven, yeah. So he is pretty tall as well. Does only have a two star weak foot, but four star skill is very, very nice. And the final player in this ten k OP player uh, squad builder sort of thing. Obviously, you wouldn't build this exact squad because there's no chemistry. But um, Ibrahimovic, I've chucked him in only because oh, that's his inform. Uh, obviously, his pace is bad, but look at that four star weak foot. So he can use either foot and five star skill. He can do every skill in the game. Six foot five with those shooting stats. He's going to be an absolute tank. In the air, 87 strength, 84 aggression, 83 head and accuracy. He's going to win everything. And he, uh, as, long as, you, as long as you find the space to get a shot, he's going to score pretty much every time. So bringing him off the bench, like the 80th minute, he's going to be feeling pretty quick against some players and uh, still going to be able to bang one in from about 900 yards. So, yeah, that's my team. Uh, obviously, like I said, wouldn't build it like that because it's, uh, what, 60 chemistry. But... It is, uh, it is uh, 10k OP players, and uh, that's it for the video. So, yeah, if there's any other squads like this you want me to do, maybe under 50k, 100k, or maybe uh, 1k, somewhere really cheap, 5k, anything you want, put it down in the comments, and uh, hopefully I can get around to do it. But, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please hit a thumbs up, and subscribe and early. Peace.